Hello and welcome to a cheeky sneak peek at the custom difficulty update. Today we have exclusive early access to the trailer. Thank you very much to the devs for providing this for content creators. So first of all, I'm going to show you the trailer. I know you're eager. Secondly, I'll go through the trailer, point out things of interest, etc. And finally, I'm going to do a little channel update at the end of the video, as I know I've not been posting much here in the last month, but I know you're an eager beaver, so let's roll the trailer. Well, what did you think? So, first of all, the name, Phasmophobia Apocalypse. Very ominous, obviously. Wonder what else they're going to sneak in with this update. That's quite a big, impactful name, isn't it? So, maybe there's more that we don't know about coming with this update. Let's have a look, little look at the trailer together again. So, Sunny Meadows Mental Institution. So, first of all, this is going to be the reworked asylum. The old asylum is not going to exist in the game anymore. So the goal here was for them to make the map a bit smaller, more condensed, more interesting. So from the map we've seen already, there's quite a large variety of rooms, as we're about to see shortly. So there you go, very creepy, ominous corridor. Honestly, I've done a ghost hunt in an abandoned asylum myself. Some of you might have seen it on my channel. If not, it's down in the description. So I'm very interested about this map, very interested to see how it feels in comparison. Here we have a place of worship as well. Um, also, the rooms, to me, feel very narrow, cramped, and small. Which is good, because I think more condensed gameplay, more condensed maps, definitely work better for Phasmophobia. Looks like we have quite a wide variety of rooms here as well, which is quite interesting. And a little outdoor courtyard here, with the lovely snow. So, Sunny Meadows Restricted, five small maps in one. Probably just to give us an idea of the size here, and maybe about the variation of the rooms as well, because it did look like there was going to be a big variation in like room design, room style, etc. To keep the map quite fresh. I know the old asylum is quite bland. There's a lot of copy and paste, and kind of looks the same everywhere, doesn't it? So I think I'm really looking forward to this. I think they're going to do a really good job with this map. Looks great from what we've seen so far. So here's more of Sunny Meadows as well. Looks really cramped, doesn't it? Lots of areas to break line of sight from the ghost. Looks nice and claustrophobic, doesn't it? It really oozes the horror atmosphere. I can't wait to get stuck into this map. I think this is what I'm excited for the most from this update. Wow. The mortuary. Oh, you can still see the bloodstains and everything. Very grim. Dear Lord. Imagine having this as a ghost room. Well... We'll find out soon, won't we? I see some lockers as well, so they're going to have some hiding places here. Again, very small, condensed, cramped. This might be the new breaker system in this map. I wonder if there will be multiple for different wings. Could be interesting. So, custom difficulty now. That's it for Sunny Meadows. So, create your own game. We're going to have to pause here because they flew through them. Okay, so... What we're looking at here is Sunny Meadows again, and we're seeing the Ouija board, the Voodoo Doll, and the Summoning Circle, and maybe more that's in the dark area. But there you go, so we're going to be able to spawn multiple cursed objects at once with custom difficulty, should you wish. Okay, here we go, right. So, the kind of thing we might expect, let me just go back a little, because that was really fast. I'll pause it. 
Okay, so fingerprint durations, fingerprint chance, evidence given to how much they can give off. Also reward multiplier as a way to balance it based off what you choose, because you are still going to be able to get XP and money from these. That's what I believe. So they're going to find ways to balance this, depending on how easy or difficult you make it. So, okay, event frequency, so ghost events. Interaction amount, so you can increase the rate of interaction with the environment from the ghost. The chance of them changing their favourite room. If you want to be masochistic, you can slap that number up, I imagine. <laughs> oh god, right. So, roaming frequency as well, how far you want them to roam from their favourite room. Think of that as like a bit of a sphere of influence around the room. Go speed. You can be very sadistic with these. Um, sanity drain speed. Oh, the, the opposite, you can be very generous to yourself. But I guess your reward multiplayer will shoot down. So sanity pill restoration percent, starting sanity. And you can see the multipliers changing as they're changing these settings. So sprint recharge time, sprint duration, sprinting on or off. You can turn it off entirely if you really want. So, oh, let me just go back a second. Lose. Hang on a second. That came really quick. So lose items on death. Okay, but turning this off, you'll get zero rewards. But if you just want to play for fun, that'd be good. And um, flashlights. Um, oh, <laughs> they won't function at all, okay. Player speed as well, okie dokie. So we have presets as well, we can see here, for different custom settings, if you have any you like in particular. Um, player settings, go settings, contract settings. The possibilities are endless looking at this. You can really tweak it how you want it. Because I know a lot of people weren't too satisfied with how they did Nightmare, myself included. I have a few gripes with Nightmare, so this is going to alleviate every concern with difficulty. You do what you want, you know? It's your game now, in that regard. So back in Sunny Meadows, let's have a look. Just peeking at that model, it's very dark. You're not a new fella, are you? Looks like Mr. Fisherman. Very cramped staircase. Honestly, um, very claustrophobic, isn't it? Once again, this map. I love how condensed, narrow, cramped it feels. True feeling of despair. There we go. Race down them steps, you. Um, Willow. Is there something new here? That all looked the same to me. Interesting. Let me just watch that again. Let me know if you spot something that I don't in the comments. Interesting that they included this clip, you know? I didn't see anything new, but let me know if you think you spotted anything sneaky. So this, I really like. Camp Woodwind. A campsite small variant. Um... Yeah, the campsite's a pretty big map. I think it's a really dangerous map. I feel like the map personally needs a rework. I feel like the hiding is really unfair on Maple. I'm um, curious to see how it will feel on this version, making a small variant, which is great. People still can't play campsite. Um, people tell me in my community as well, they still can't play it due to performance issues. So I'm hoping you'll be able to get a taster of the campsite. If you're afflicted by those issues, you'll be able to play this one. That's cool. Um, yeah, lovely. They've also changed it a bit from the main campsite. I don't know if the main campsite's getting changes with this update or not, but yeah, looking different. Not sure where this area is. Could be a new area. Marvellous. Um, new main menu as well. New lobby room. New shop. Equipment loadouts are coming with this. Fantastic. That'll be great depending on how many people you're playing with. Ghost adjustments. Quite vague. Maybe tweaks to powers, balancing, etc. ID cards. That's a cosmetic feature, I believe. Um, collectibles. I believe we've not heard of this before, unless I'm mistaken. Now that's very interesting. We'll see what they see what they come up with with this one. Um, I missed one. That was actually uh really quick. After collectibles. Report system, great for public lobbies and stuff. New fuse box. As we saw a sneak peek of, actually. Ah, I wonder if they're going for themed ones for each map. We'll see. Player stats, marvellous. I love numbers. I'm a data cruncher. So new interactables. Interesting, maybe more thing. Oh, okay then, so maybe like microwave interactions, um, stuff like that that we have already. Maybe they're going to expand on that kind of thing. Interesting. More interactivity, the better, really. Um, could help for sound cues as well, locating the ghost. Um, new sounds. Interesting. Doesn't say what for, but we'll wait and see. And much more, that says. 
Phasmophobia? Apocalypse. And now we get a sneak peek at the entrance to Sully Meadows looking very dark and ominous as always. Right. Absolutely bloody fantastic. What did you think of it? <laughs> and there's that giggle at the end. So Tuesday the 27th of September, 12pm, BST. Put it in your calendars. Um, I believe that's just over two years after Phasmophobia came out. I think it was September the 21st, 2020, off the top of my head. But yeah, let me know if you saw anything that you think I may have missed. Let me know what you think of this down in the comments. Quite exciting. And to finish up the video, just a quick little channel update. So, channel update. A little while ago, I made a video saying that I was getting a little burned out with the ghost hunting genre as a whole. I kind of needed to branch out and try some new things. That's exactly what I have been doing over on my Twitch channel. I know I've not really been posting here on the YouTube channel, but I've been branching out over the last month or two and it's been really enjoyable. Honestly, had a great time. It's been great for the mental health because I was getting burned out just playing the same stuff over and over again, especially when there was a lack of updates because this kind of genre, it's very small dev teams, you know, they can only work at a certain pace, you know, updates can't just be pumped out constantly. So doing the same thing over and over again, it was getting a little tiring. We've had a lot of uninspired releases. I'm not naming any. And I was just kind of a bit done with the genre for a while, but we've been playing some variety over on the Twitch channel. Also mixing in some ghost hunting games again, which has been fun because I'm feeling ready to delve back into them, you know? It's nice to take a break because I play so many different games off stream as well. I've always played so many different genres. But I am still in a position where I would quite like to share some different content on the channel as well. But I will also be focusing on some of the ghost hunting stuff and horror stuff, as I have been before. I'm hoping to start posting here more often again. So apologies for my little break, but it is something I really needed to do for, for my mental health, really. And it's it's been good. It's been good. But if you do want to get more content in the meantime, feel free to join us over our Twitch community. Link in the bio down below. Stream Monday to Friday, five days a week. I know quite a few people have come over in the last month from YouTube over to Twitch. So it's been great to see some new faces there as well. But with it approaching Halloween as well, there's a lot of cool releases coming up, lots of cool updates. So I expect to see some more horror and ghost hunting stuff here shortly. But yes, that's all from me today. I hope you enjoyed that little sneak peek at Phasmophobia Apocalypse launching later this month. Thank you for watching. Take care of yourself. I will catch you in the next video or over at the streams. See you there.